1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19. Amen. And it says, For what is our hope, our joy, our crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? Amen. For what is our hope, or joy, or crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm so thankful that we have a, a, a full audience today with us uh, because I, I really believe that uh, this is just a reminder for everyone here. And this is the Apostle Paul writing to the Church of Thessal Thessalonica, I think it's pronounced. Anyway, uh, and we can see that Paul, being the apostle who has brought the word to them, is expressing his hope, joy, and crown of rejoicing to see the people that he has brought the word to and spent time with and ministered to, uh, to see them be in the presence of Jesus Christ at his coming. There is a fulfillment that comes uh, from serving the flock. Uh, Jesus even said in John chapter 4, uh, after he had been ministering to the woman at the well, and she went away, and the disciples came to him and urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. And he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. Of course, they're worried about somebody bringing him food. And he said that his food is to do the will of him who sent him. But the truth is there is a fulfillment that comes in ministering to people that that overrides food, water, everything. It's a fulfillment that happens when you minister to others. Just as the Apostle John had said in uh, 3 John chapter 1, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. No greater joy. And so I believe the message today is for everyone here to know that the, the elders of this church, the pastors, is we are not bothered by ministering to you. We are not um, weary of ministering to you. We get a fulfillment, uh, and you in the future may actually do the very same thing because God has a plan for you, and God will give you a fulfillment that you cannot imagine uh, by seeing people's lives changed by being God's hands and feet as he ministers to them and see the fruit of our labor is a blessing that's indescribable unless you experience it yourself. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for just reminding the flock today that they're not a bother to us, that they are not um, uh, a burden, but a blessing, a, a reason for hope, joy, and rejoicing. We long to see this whole flock and many, many more uh, in your presence, uh, we have received the blessing, and we certainly want others to receive it as well. And so uh, let no one be shy to reach out uh, and also prepare the rest of the, everyone on this call to experience this wonderful thing as you use each and every one of us to be a blessing to others and have this fulfillment that the world cannot fulfill, but only you can through us. And we just thank you for this word today. Thank you for that blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is our word of the day. Amen. Praise the Lord.